Here I have all the previous years, current year forecast, cumulative value for each month in the current year, and then finally, current year YED value. I can also adjust the growth percent for the forecast value. Is this a custom visual? No, this is not any custom visual. This is a Power BI native column chart. And in this video, we are going to create this visual from the scratch. Let's do that. I am into this new PBX file. And here I have my three basic measures, total sales, total cost, and margin percent. First of all, click on modeling tab and create a numeric range parameter. I will use this to set the current year forecast. So I will name it as percentage of growth forecast. Data type will be decimal, which will be later changed to percent. Now I can set the minimum and maximum value. In this example, I want to keep it from minus 20% to plus 20% so that I can select anything in between. Click on Create button. Select the field and change the type to percent. Now I can use this slicer to modify my current year forecast values dynamically. These parameters are used to apply what-if analysis. Next, I will click on Enter Data and will create a new custom table. In this table, enter all the previous years and month names. Apart from that, I will insert one more row for current year forecast value. Since I want this to show after all the previous years, I will insert the current forecast row here. At the bottom of this table, I will insert one more row for my YD value. Next is to add the another column, which I will use to apply the sort order. Now this is very important to follow the ordering exactly the way you want your columns to be shown in the visual. In this example, I will enter 1 to 12 for all the month names, and then 13 for my YD value. Since I want all my previous years to be shown at first, the order for these year will be less than one and in a sequence. Create this table with the name as period. At this moment, we have just created the required custom table. As said, I will apply the sort order for my custom column based on the order column. Before I start creating my master DAX measure, let me also insert a year slicer, which will be used to select different years. All right, I am done with all the settings and I will create this new DAX measure, which I will name as new total sales. I will start the expressions with switch true function. First of all, I will calculate the values for the current year forecast. I know that the order for current year forecast is zero, as we have defined in our period table. In this demo, we will calculate the forecast value based on the previous year total sales and the selected growth percentage from our slicer, which we have created earlier. So this is my previous year sales, and I will multiply by one plus selected value of the growth percentage. This way I can dynamically change the forecast. Now I will check if selected value of the order is less than zero, which is for all previous years, I will calculate the total sales, where year column of the date table should be equal to the year value of the period table. This will calculate total sales for all the previous years. For the month columns, I will validate if selected value of the order is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 12. Then I will calculate the cumulative total sales. For that I will filter the date table, so that it will have all the months which are less than or equal to the month equivalent orders from the period table. This part of the expression will calculate the YDD values for each month column. The final validation is, if selected value of period is equal to 13, which is for the total YDD value. It should calculate the YDD for the current selected year. For that, I can calculate total sales, where year is equal to max of the year or the selected year. The main part of the expression is completed here, but I will store this entire expression inside a variable, which I can name as all values. Since I don't want to show the cumulative YDD values for those future months, where I don't have any sales order in current year, I will validate this condition and will assign blank values for those future months. So I am checking if the order column for the months is greater than the month of maximum order date of my sales table, but it is not equal to 13, it should return an empty string, else it should return the above variable's value. Let's create the visual now. Insert the column chart and add the year field from our custom table called period. For the Y axis, select the newly created new total sales measure. If you want, Enable the data label. Our solution is ready for the functionality perspective. Let's apply some conditional formatting on top of it so that it will look better. 
I have already created this measure to assign different colors to my columns in the visual. I can use this for the column colors of my chart. Finally, select the column chart, and from formatting section, select FX from column colors. Select the type as field value, and then select the formatting measure. Click on OK, and here we go. We have this amazing column chart which is showing all previous years, current year forecast, monthly YDD, and the total YDD columns. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for many such amazing videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.